Welcome to the Windows channel. And uh, this is a little video to answer some of the questions that I get from time to time from people, you know, um, Bingley today is answering the question, you know, how far are we from, you know, having no more control panel in Windows 10 and, and just using the settings app. And uh, of course, short answer, we're still very far away from, you know, a removal of the control panel. But yet, um, when I talk about the control panel, I've noticed that I go less and less within the control panel. And uh, more and more, the things that I want are within the settings app. Uh, on the insider side, I was uh, um, showing up, uh, showing off the fact that, uh, you know, when you go to your, uh, your, your settings, now for the sound, the settings are mostly within the uh, settings app now, uh, unless in a little panel that comes from basically the control panel, uh, which kind of made me a little surprise um, when I um, wanted to uh, use the recording software when a new build 17074 arrived. So what you're seeing here is actually the latest build of Redstone 4, which is going to come in the month of March. So. More and more stuff are coming to the settings. I mean, uh, same thing. If I go to system here, um, display, almost everything that I did to tweak within the display here are um, totally within the settings. So settings are, you know, really getting there. I mean, I've been using much more the Windows settings. Uh, almost everything I ask for is within Windows settings. So what we see basically is that the the tweaking of the and let's uh, just uh, for the the sake of it bring up the control panel which really looks an old antiquated thing when you start looking at you know you look at this you have the impression of of going back to windows xp or almost and which basically is almost the same as this uh and and you know if you look at how modern these things look at that look at how modern the settings app looks compared to the control panel. Um, it is a welcome change. It was a welcome thing to do here. Um, and, you know, there's still a lot of stuff that's inside here. There's still so many options that are within the control panel. But I think what we are seeing is that Microsoft is actually concentrating a lot on what are the major settings that everybody are using? And let's move these first to the settings app. And that's kind of what we see here. It does seem like the settings app has pretty much everything I want to have. Now, um, you know, I still sometimes go to the control panel, but um, you know, I, 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 just thinking of what I use in the control panel personally, um, I'd say that, okay, let's remove administrative tools. There's a few things in here uh, that are, you know, kind of control panel wordy that I go to. But um, personally, if I look at what do I do when I go to the control panel, or what am I looking at? Uh, almost everything. And I mean, you know, you got a system here, a system here. But one of the things that I think would help me probably move to the... Um, use less the control panel would be to go to the device manager. Uh, this is still a control panel thing. And um, I mean, it's one of the things I go quite often in the device manager. And what I'm thinking is, uh, you know what, if you move the control the device manager within the settings, I will not be using the control panel much anymore. Um, a lot of the defaults and the default apps are in settings, a lot of the account stuff, a lot of the, you know, uh, internet connectivity stuff, a lot of it happens uh, within the settings, which makes me think, hey, um, you know what, the, uh, we, we're we still far off, because obviously, you know, when you look at the control panel that just popped up, there's still a lot of stuff in that control panel, but yet, there's a lot of, you know, things that have moved here that are just 
you don't have to go into the control panel anymore. But you know, one thing that came to mind personally, because one of the objectives that we know is that there would be, you know, Microsoft would maybe like to remove the control panel in order to just have one settings app and that's it, which would be, of course, um, a nice goal. But sometimes I wonder if, you know, maybe we should keep the settings clean with not too much stuff, just the right stuff, the important stuff, and keep some kind of, uh, you know, maybe it could be another app, but some kind of legacy app for the real hardcore stuff that only the, you know, experience user or the tech enthusiast will go to. Uh, that's something to maybe check for, but I don't know. Maybe it could, you know, all go within the settings. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, one thing for sure, we're still we're still a long way before, you know, everything in the control panel eventually goes to the settings. And it's well made. You know, I mean, if you go into here and you want to click something that you want to see uh, within. Um, so there are panels that will show you the control panel stuff, but still there are some things that will uh, bring you directly to the um, settings app, depending on what you need to do. So, you know, I think it's, um, and there are some doubles in here. There are some settings that are here and in the settings, which I believe should not be because it's kind of making it difficult to uh, understand sometimes maybe why something has changed or not. But we're still far away. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff in here. Uh, but, you know, slowly there are things going to change. You know, for example, Internet Options. It's very simple. This is, this is linked to Internet Explorer. And I mean, as we move away from Explorer, because it's, you know, it, at some point going to be an antiquated old browser that nobody needs anymore. Um, internet properties from here, don't, you don't need that anymore. There's a few things like that that are kind of, you know, and there's also that old thing of Internet Explorer settings still kind of being the general settings for some of the internet and the network stuff, which is kind of crazy here. So we're still far away, but we are moving ahead quite a lot into what the settings, you know, slowly everything in here. And like I said, I've been surprisingly, I've been surprised at pretty much using almost only settings within here and um, almost never going to the control panel. So uh, it's coming there slowly, you know, and uh, this is what it looks like. And the uh, Redstone 4 build, by the way, if you look at your fall careers update, you won't recognize this panel, the settings panel as being exactly like this. Um, it is a little different, but we're coming there. I think the settings are coming and that uh, is going to be um, you know, already it, it's, it's a well done job. Of course, still needs some tweaking and, you know, uh, some of the options, like I will always kind of talk about, you know, why not either uh, let us choose which position all the D's are going to be. Let us move these settings around. And, you know, if I wish to have uh, update and security at the first one here on the top, why not? Why can't I just click and slide it to the position I want? or give us an alph alph alphabetical order or stuff like that. Because uh, it's, you know, interesting order that they choose. Why not let us choose our own order? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.